Right, so the first thing we discussed in terms of your setup, you had the shaft sort of preset a long way forward again. That angle in terms of your club being vertical to leaning forward, your D loft in the golf course, that's going to take a lot of spin off the golf ball. The two yeah. things that create more backspin, every golf ball that's struck has backspin. Even a putt has a okay. minimal amount of backspin. Back. We're talking like one revolution, okay. then it rolls. A driver has probably about two or 3,000 RPM. A 7.9 has sort of 6,000 RPM and a wedge you're looking to 10,000 with the pros. Right. You're still getting the spin, just not enough. Okay. okay. And because your hands are presetting or were presetting forward, you were de lofting the club and taking the spin off the golf ball. Okay. Hence why your shots were landing and bouncing, bouncing through. Forward. And that's your preset with a sand dine. I imagine with a 9.9, the same thing. Yeah. So if you're preset with a 9.9 and you're losing 15 degrees, well, each club's got four degrees of difference. Okay. So 15 degrees yeah. roughly, as we just estimated. Yeah. You've got a nine iron, go four clubs down as a five iron. Five iron. How are you yeah. going to get spin with a five yeah. iron over fifty? It's no. never going to happen, is it's it? Okay. Gonna, oh. So you've got to try and get the club. You can see a lot more neutral to start with. Okay, start with the club on the ground first, aiming at your target, getting the club nice and neutral. Then set the club and put your feet. You can see a lot narrower, and you're pinching your weight onto that left side. Okay. What we're looking to try and do is sort of slide the club long and low. We're not trying to lift it up yeah, here by scooping and yeah. flicking okay uh -huh. so keeping that club going long and i think in terms of grip pressure we can be nice and loose that's going to swing be a lot more fluid once that club was sitting a lot more neutral you've now got the 56 degrees of that golf club that we're allowed to use so as you come back to the golf ball you can see the angle that golf ball now is shooting off the club face okay. with that's going yeah. off quite a launch there if that's sort of flat there we're now getting somewhere in the reason of 45 degrees 50 degrees which okay, yeah. is going to send it up I quite high that. and it's yeah. going to stand quickly yeah. you'll get the backspin but a ball coming down this way with the same amount of backspin as the ball going that way with a five iron lofted golf club is going to stop quicker yeah. and you'll find it a lot easier to control the spin by trajectory rather than trying to sort of spin the ball even more because it's just again another to worry about okay but in terms of that swing there we're keeping that club again your arms and your chest are swinging long and low there's no scoop that's a right but that's your best shot to be fair yeah. nice extension there with the arm the chest moving through and your head now looking at the ball don't keep your head down because the more your head stays down the more behind the ball you're going to hit it because okay. your right shoulder gets low you lean yeah. back and ends up the club rather than coming down and arcing at the bottom it arcs a bit early, so when it comes to him, impact, hits the ball on the way up. So you know my head, is, yeah, it, yeah. is it when it's, ca it's coming through with, yeah, yeah. with, with that? Yeah, just come, yeah, exactly. Where, where if you were throwing a ball under armpit, would yeah. you keep your head looking down at where no. your arm was releasing no. the ball? You'd no. look at your target yeah. and throw your arm yeah. to, the, to the ball, there, you see? Yeah. And that's kind of the motion. Where your head is doesn't okay. really affect the contact of the club in the ground. Right. All it does is restrict your body twisting through, which can affect other things, obviously, as we see. Okay. So it's allowing that head and the body to move through. Don't sort of keep your head fixed head on the ground to try and get under the ball. Okay. And if you think about it, you're in the ground behind the ball. Yeah. So your head's not even too long. Your head's not lifting, is it? No, no. So allow your body to keep twisting through. I think looser grip pressure will help. Okay. The pre-shot routine we discussed there will certainly help getting yourself lined up. Get that club in a more neutral position. Don't preset it forward. Okay, yeah, so you've got yeah. the full 56 degrees aloft. Yeah, yeah. And now you can play the shot as you want to, okay? Does that make sense? That makes sense. Good, awesome. okay, mate.